Dear God, thank you for leading us into this worship and help us to focus on your word and help us to preach the gospel to the world and use your power power to destroy Satan. And please give Pastor David the filling of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This time, Pastor David will come up and give us the message titled, Three Things to Do First. Okay, it's good to see everyone. Uh, good to see Joshua, Hannah, online. And I think I saw Caleb, but um, he just left um, for a moment, I think. Okay, um, what do we bless the people next to you? Tell them. Let's do the three things first. Let's do the three things first. Bless the people next to you. Let's do the three things first. Okay, so let's talk about the three things today. Okay, so last week we talked about the assurance, right? Everyone say, assurance of salvation. Assurance of prayer answers. Assurance of forgiveness. Assurance of victory. Assurance of guidance. So one thing good, uh, important thing about the assurance is that evidence, okay? Everyone say, if you know the evidence, you will have the assurance. One more time. If you know the evidence, you will have the assurance. So assurance is not something that you have to have. You try to have. You know the evidence, you will have the assurance, okay? So we're going to talk about this just one more time this week because I think assurance of salvation is very important. You know, many remnants grow up in church and then sometimes they go into college and then they actually don't believe, right, that they're children of God. And because, you know, they find the evidence in the wrong place. Everyone say, evidence in the wrong place. Okay? They think that, oh, you know, I pray that God will give me good, you know, exam score that he's not giving me. How, why is it that my parents don't change? Or why is it that I'm so, you know, I pray that God give me a taller height, but I'm still short. Like, they try to find the evidence in the wrong place. Okay? The evidence is this. Repeat after me, okay? Whoever has the Son has life. So ask the people next to you, okay? Do you have the Son? Ask them. Do you have the Son? And who is this Son? Anyone? Who is, it? Who is this one? So who is this? <laughs> who is this Son? Yes, that's right. Oh, it's a bit less. Okay, 역시. <laughs> Whoever has the sun. <laughs> Whoever has the sun has life, okay? So if you have the Son of God, Jesus Christ in you, you have life. That's the evidence. That's it, okay? That's it. Sometimes God, you know, you, you ask for prayer answers, but Satan answers the prayers too. What if, what, what if Satan gives you good things and you say, oh, Satan, you are my God. Are you going to say that? No, right? The evidence is Jesus Christ. Everyone say, the evidence is Jesus Christ. That's it, okay? And whoever does not have the Son of God does not have life, right? So that's why, but to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, everyone say, the right to become children of God. One more time, the right to become children of God. Right? 
whether you are a child of God or not, God decides it, right? God decides it. It's not you, oh, I think I am a child of God, I think I'm not. No, no, no. God decides whether you are a child of God or not, right? 하나님이 결정해요, 그죠? And God says, I give you the right, 권리, 권리 너무 어려운 단어인가? I give you the authority to become child of God to who? To everyone who received Jesus Christ and accepted Christ. So everyone say this, accepting Christ is everything. One more time, accepting Christ is everything. Why? Because when you accepted Christ, 영접만 했는데, God gave you the right. He gave. What is gave? The past tense of give, right? He gave the right to become children of God. So if God gives you the right, can Satan take it away? So don't be shaken, okay? If God gives you this right, Satan cannot even come near this. Satan cannot even come near your spirit. Because Jesus Christ is in your spirit. Do you believe that Jesus Christ is in your spirit? Say yes. <laughs> That's the evidence, okay? 영접 자체가 증거예요. 더 이상 증거 필요 없어. 속지 마. 속지 마라니까? 증, 진, 눈에 보이는 증거는 나중에 오게 돼 있어요. 눈에 보이는 증거 집중하는 사람들이 음란한 세대라고 했어요. 예수님은 오히려. 예수 그리스도에만 집중해라. Just concentrate on Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ himself is the evidence. And what happens? He says, I will ask the Father, Jesus says, okay, to you. I will ask the Father, and this happened to you already. He will give you another helper to be with you forever. Everyone say, to be with you forever. So, even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive. The world, the children of Satan, cannot receive the Holy Spirit. But you can receive the Holy Spirit because He's with you already. Amen? And then because it neither sees him or nor knows him. I think this knowing is very important. Okay, raise your hand if you have Holy Spirit in you. Raise your hand. Raise your hand if you talk to him. If you talk to him. Do you talk to him? Yes? I know that Holy Spirit is inside of me. Listen to this, remnants, okay? I know that Holy Spirit inside of me because Holy Spirit teaches me. I listen to the message of the pastor, you, Pastor Huang, and all the pastors, right? But I don't learn from them. I learn from the Holy Spirit. So I try to listen to what the Holy Spirit is telling me in my heart. Everyone say, in my heart. Because we listen to many things in the message, right? But there's one point. Everyone say one point. There's one point that God is telling to in, in where? In my heart. Okay? And what happens? Next one is more important. You hold on to that one point. When? On Monday. On Tuesday. On Wednesday. And things happen, right? Sometimes you fight with your sister, fight with your brother, and you know, your mom, your whatever, many happens, right? That's when you take it out. That one point that you received on Sunday through who? Through the Holy Spirit. And then take it out. And then this becomes, this gets rid of your worries. Everyone say, gets rid of my worries. Okay, this is very important. Gets rid of my disbelief. Okay, this one point that you received on Sunday, it, uh, I don't know how can I explain. Sometimes it really feels like it's, it's like, what is this? It's alive. This one point that I received on Sunday, it's alive. Why? Because you forget, right? You forget the grace that you received, right? And then, you take it out, and it just refreshes, it just gets rid of my worries and disbelief. And I, I, I become like, that's right. You know, I cannot really tell you many details, but sometimes like, I have 
선입견, right? Misconception. 선입견. And then like you take it out and then like, oh, that's right. Everyone say, that's right. The moment you say that's right because of that one point, the word is being fulfilled in you. Okay? Okay, that's how the Holy Spirit is inside of you. So you know Him. So I know my Holy Spirit because He tells me during the worship. It's very important. And if I tell you just one more thing, sometimes like you feel very down or there's huge problem, like huge worry, right? What you do is you go into your room with the door shut, okay? Go into the, the door shut. And sometimes you look at the pulpit message and then you pray. And then sometimes ask just one question to him. Ask one question to the Holy Spirit inside of you. God, what is your plan? Why is this happening? What is your plan, you know? And the Holy Spirit, sometimes, He speaks to your heart. Do you know why? He's dwelling with you and will be in you. Everyone say, in you. Okay? He's in you. That's called conversational prayer, okay? You let, you let go of your thoughts, your emotions. You, know, you think that, oh, this is, it has to be this way. No, it has to be that way, you know? My mom has to be this way. My father has to be this way. You just throw that away, and then you just kind of lay that down, okay? And go to your room with the door shut and Holy Spirit inside of you and ask Him. God, why did you give me this mother? <laughs> why did you give me this father, right? And the Holy Spirit will tell you. Okay? Experience that this week. So that's how you know him. You ask and he tells you. During the worship on Sunday and during your one-on-one -on -one prayer. Isn't it amazing that we have this salvation? Amen? Amen? Everyone say, amazing salvation. Amazing. <laughs> amazing salvation, okay? So today, um, the three things to do first. Let's read uh, today's scripture reading one more time. Everyone together, ready? Do not give dogs what is sacred. Do not throw your pearls to pigs. If you do, they may trample them under their feet. And then turn and tear you to pieces. Tear you to pieces. Do not give the dogs what is holy. Do not give the pearls, you know, jewels, to the pigs. Because they may trample them under their feet. Break, they, they may break it, right? And then turn to you. And they come to you and they try to damage you. What does that mean, man? It means to not criticize. Okay? That's the first thing. What is the reason that we must not criticize? This is very important. Everyone say, a huge spiritual loss. Okay, 영적 상태에 큰 손해를 본다는 거예요. A huge spiritual loss if you criticize, okay? But instead, if you pray for them, rather than criticizing them, talking about those people to others, if you pray for them, okay? Is there a friend in your school that is giving you a hard time, that is like bothering you all the time? Instead of criticizing them, oh, I wish that guy is not my classmate, you know? to your mother or to your friends, just pray. If you do that, listen to this, if you just shut your mouth and pray, the blessings will come around to you. Because God does not give what is holy to the dogs. God does not, what is, God does not give His holy 
precious blessings to these people. Okay? Everyone here can be like the dogs, <laughs> including me. We can be like the pigs. How? If we always criticize. And God cannot bless you. But if you stop criticizing and just pray for them, God's going to bless you. I'm going to keep it short today, right? Second thing is, everyone say, reconcile and the worship. What is reconciliation? You look at the picture. What is reconciliation? Everyone, what do, what do you think this is? Reconcile이 뭘까요? <laughs> 화해하는 거죠? So remnants, listen. If you fought with someone, you can fight, right? Fight happens, right? You know, with anybody. Reconcile with them first. Reconcile. And then come to worship. Okay? Why? It's not because God hates you when you fight with someone. It's not because God hates, like, your sin, okay? No, God loved you when you were a sinner. God takes you as you are, right? 하나님께는 상태 그대로 와도 하나님은 우리를 사랑해요, right? God loved you when you were a sinner, not because of that. It's because if you don't reconcile, you will lose your spiritual state. This is a secret, remnants. Um, you know, I, I don't have a, I don't have a, what is it, a Apple phone. I have the Galaxy, um, but I use the uh, wireless uh, earphone from the Apple. What is that? Air, Air, AirPod? AirPod, right? Because I tried many different kinds of earphone, e earphones, but uh, the sound quality, this is the best. You know, the Apple makes the, ver the very best sound quality earphones. So I use them a lot of times, and this week I went to uh, Changwon to receive the uh, pastor use message there. But in the train, I used the uh, earphone, right? And there's an earphone case. And then I went to the restroom, and it came back. But the earphone case that I put in my seat was disappeared. But if you don't have the case, you cannot charge your thing, right? You know that, right? So it disappeared. I, I clearly, so I look, look for it everywhere. You know, I even knelt down and like, where is it, <laughs> right? But it's not there. I still don't have it. But there was this ajumma <laughs> next to my seat. She seems like she's like, She's like, oh, I'm sleeping. You know what I mean? She's like, oh. so, but I can't ask her, did you take my, <laughs> you know, um, AirPod case? So I look for it, and this gentle woman, uh, this gen there is gentle Azuma and not gentle Azuma, okay? This gentle Azuma came, and then she, she was like, oh, did you lose anything? And she was looking for it with me. You know what I mean? Oh, did you lose anything? And she was like, looking for it. I still didn't find it. Why am I talking about this? Um, I still didn't find it, but it doesn't matter for me. I'm not angry. Why? Because I need to just buy it again, right? Earphone, AirPod is very useful, right? But it's not that precious to me. Do you understand? Your spiritual state is a secret and is the most precious thing to you. So don't lose your spiritual state. Remnants, okay? If you fought with somebody, reconcile with them. If you yield, just give them what they want, okay? You yield and you think you're losing, right? No. If you yield and reconcile, you will gain your spiritual state. Okay? Repeat after me, everyone. If I yield and reconcile, I will gain my spiritual state. Okay? So losing AirPod, it, it's okay. 
So I went to uh, this mall to get a haircut, and I saw that there's an Apple like a store there, and I just went there and I checked the first generation, second generation AirPod, right? And I didn't buy it, but I just checked it like, mm, okay, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, okay, the price and the functions and like, right? It doesn't matter. But my spiritual state is very precious. When you gain your spiritual state, repeat after me. God's blessings come around to me. God's blessings come around to me. 하나님이 축복받는 인생 되면 돼요. 그거의 키가 영적 상태다 이 말이에요. 그래서 줄거다 주고 화해하라고. Don't lose your spiritual state. Last one. For seek God's kingdom and God's will. You must remember that you can ask for anything, okay? You can ask for anything in prayer. What to, you could ask for AirPod if you want, okay? Anything Jesus said. But to the disciples, Jesus said, first ask for God's kingdom and his righteousness, which is God's will. Why God's kingdom? When you ask for God's kingdom, God's kingdom comes down from heaven to where you are. Crushes, it crushes Satan's kingdom down. Believe in that. Say amen. Amen. When God, God's kingdom comes down, what's that, what does that mean? God is the king. And then he comes down to you and Satan has to be crushed. Right? That's the point. Crushing down the Satan's kingdom. And then God's will, then you can find God's plan. God's plan, okay? Conversational prayer. In your room with the door shut. What is that? Golbang from last week, right? Conversational prayer. Asking for his plan. He will tell you in your heart. 골방에서 기도하는 걸할수 있는 렘런트가 있다면 아마 성령님이 말씀하실 거예요. Yeah. Then everything will be added on to you. So let's make this confession together, everyone. Okay, everyone say, Christ is in me. Holy Spirit is my teacher. My spiritual state is the key. Okay, so this is the introduction and this is the conclusion. The three things that Jesus told us to do, the key, the main theme for that is the spiritual state. Don't lose it. This is a key that if you lose your spiritual state, your spiritual state can be like the dog. Your spiritual state can be like the pig. Because for dogs and pigs, for them, physical things are everything. Physical attractions, physical pleasure is everything for them. So, Christ will not give you the holy things to you. But if you don't lose your spiritual state by yielding, reconcile, and everything, for you seek the kingdom and the righteousness in your room with the door shut, if you gain your spiritual state, Christ will give you the holy blessings to you. Holy blessings in your spirituality, in your intelligence, and your life will be the masterpiece. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much that you have spoken to us today. I pray that you will fulfill this word to all the remnants here who are holding on to the point and the teachers and the parents so that we will be the ones who can always choose to gain my spiritual state. 
choose to be blessed by God, choose to live the simple life of God's blessings, and be a witness of that. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This time, let's sing and uh, give offering to God. God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever would believe him should not die but have eternal life for God so loved Let's pray for the offering this time. Yes. Thank God uh, for giving us what we need and provide our daily bread all the time. I pray that you will bless all the remnants here to be that person to let go of the things that people are holding on to and gain of the things that people are losing hold of so that they can stand as the one who communicate with God, having the antenna, which is the three things to do first, Father. May you bless all the teachers to be able to um, uh, observe this and also digest this word and deliver the important point to the remnants so that they also will be blessed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, let's do the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. All right, so have a great tough forum time, everyone. Talk about the three things, okay? Bye, Josh and Hannah. Bye. And I'm continuously praying for you, okay? And Mi Son Chipsanim, too. Okay? Let's go into forum.
他那熬着是后一。